Uh, it's the Carter Man with, with my second report to you of the day, uh, February 21st, 2023. The, and it comes in, in response to a, a bunch of questions I've been receiving. Don't forget, you can text me to 202-664-6190 or email clclews, -L -L -E uh, at gmail.com. So we can talk together because I value your, your, your feedback. I value your input. Okay. Your opinion for me is in many ways more important than my opinion to you because I, I, I get the guidance from you on, on where we need to go at, at your uh, constitutional rights pack, CR pack. So I've got a bunch of text messages from people saying, what the heck's with the FBI targeting of, of what, what, uh, what the FBI, Christopher Ray and, and Mary Kimler, I'm sorry, Nick Garland, uh, calls uh, radical traditional Catholics. I guess those are Catholics who believe in the crucifixion and resurrection of Christ. I don't know. So radical traditional Catholic. Uh, believing in a resurrection is pretty radical, and, uh, and it's one of the great traditions of that church, every Christian church, of course. So the FBI targeted them, okay? Once uh, they're domestic terrorists, according to the FBI. Now, I know some of you are saying, yeah, but the, the FBI pulled back on that and said, you know, they, they decided not to do it. That's a lie. Okay, that's that's just a lie. Look, let me let me tell you something. I, there's what I call, and I've got to make this quick, the Hydra, the Hydra effect. You remember the Hydra in Greek mythology when you cut off one head and you thought you might have killed it, it just grew another one? Well, that's what big government does. That's what the radical government does. We think, because the FBI said, oh, 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 okay, we got caught, so we're not going to try and destroy uh, uh, a traditional Catholic Church um, as, as white supremacists and domestic terrorists. Yeah, that's what they're saying. What they really mean, though, is, oh, we floated out a trial balloon there, see if we get away with it, and full impact, you know, uh, all jets out, and we, we got caught, so we're going to do it surreptitiously now, going to grow the other head grow the other head. Folks, that's what government does. Whenever you hear that government is pulling back from a program, all it means, one of their ghastly oppressive programs, all it means is they're going to try and sneak it in. Okay? The member of the uh, um, Mallorca's uh, DHS Ministry of Truth, and he got caught, so they said, oh, 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 on second thought, we're not going to do it. Oh, yes, they are. We know now they are doing it, and they have been doing it. All of the great stuff that uh, the 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 that the Twitter secret Twitter emails that uh, Elon Musk really showed they really were doing it anyway, weren't they? And I can assure you they're continuing to do it. Let's go back in time. Let's go back in time. The 1965 Civil Rights Act. Oh well, it will never be used for quotas because people said no quotas. Cut off that head. Here comes the other head, and they did it through the bureaucracy horribly, horrible quotas in America now. How about the 1987 uh, Mazzoli-Simpson bill? Oh, well, uh, this will never allow illegal immigrants, uh, aliens to cross our border. Because they got caught. And here came all these Hydra heads. We've had, what, uh, 20 million cents, okay? But they did it surreptitiously. They didn't do it openly. It's what they do. It's what they do. Let me give you one more example because we're running out of time. One of Biden's first acts in office, January 21st, as soon as he took office, that tragic day, the day before he took office, one of his first acts was to issue, tell his NSC to go after Americans who disagree with his policies and label them domestic terrorists. Look it up. You'll see it, one of his first acts, one of his first executive uh, orders he signed. And people found out about it and said, well, that's not how we do things in America. We, we allow dissent. Oh, oh, well, okay. Uh, six months later, the NSC's official report came out. Okay, see there, June, it was June 15th to be exact. Labeling Americans who disagree with Biden, domestic terrorists. If you doubt me, there are the words there. Anybody who harbors anti-government or anti-authority views, sentiments, may well be, that according to this report, a 
domestic terrorists, just like those who trespassed on the Capitol building, trespassing on public property. That's what the real crime was. They've been in jail two years now. They're uh, domestic terrorists, violated something that was made up for the occasion, violated uh, what's it, what's um, the the uh, the FBI's made up rules, new rules against seditious, seditious conspiracy. What? What the hell did that come from? Well, they made it up for the occasion because they couldn't, didn't want to charge him with what they really did, trespass on public property. All right, so that's where we are. And that's what's happened with this FBI. The, you know, here's the, the go to DuckDuckGo. Don't try Google because they won't, they won't, you won't find any of this information. Here's the information of what they were up to. And the Catholic Church said, what the, what the, um, obviously they didn't say what. Uh, they said, what is going on? They didn't get profane about it. And a lot of other Americans did too. And the FBI acted like, well, we'll, we'll pull it back. They haven't pulled it back. They're going to come at it surreptitiously, target the same people, the radical traditional Catholics. I guess that's like all my mother, my mother's Italian relatives who came over from Italy and went to Mass every day. Kind of radical, isn't it? Very traditional enemies of the state. Folks, we're going to dismantle. We're going to dismantle the state as it exists now. That's the only, and rebuild it the way the founding fathers originally intended with limited government, limited government, okay? Jefferson, that government governs best, that governs least. That's what we're going to do, all right? So let's join hands, fight the good fight. Let's do this thing.